Hello viewers, once again, Mr. Mwangi Francis welcoming you to Erimu TV, the station where you watch and experience. I'm taking you through chemistry lesson from one and we are looking at the foreign objectives. Stay tuned throughout the lesson. So, and the goals of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to define or state temporary physical changes, temporary chemical change and permanent change as well as state the characteristics of the changes of the above named processes so when substances are heated uh, the following may occur temporary physical change for instance when you heat zinc zinc oxide on heating zinc oxide it changes the color to yellow on cooling it goes back to white without altering the chemical composition of the substance. So zinc oxide, once heated, gives us zinc oxide, which is yellow in color. This is a perfect example of a temporary physical change. These are known as physical changes. So what are the characteristics of these physical changes? Number one, no new substance is formed. Remember, zinc oxide when hot, zinc oxide when cold, no change in mass basically because we didn't alter the chemical composition. We also have uh, the third characteristic that they are reversible. Yes, from hot to cold, same, same process, and no net heat change. It's not accompanied by any heat change. That means the process is neither exothermic nor endothermic. And to change uh, number two, we have temporary chemical change. Let's consider hydrated copper 2 sulfate. On heating hydrated copper 2 sulfate, it changes its state to uh, anhydrous copper 2 sulfate. And during heating, as you can see from the diagram, uh, we have a colorless liquid which forms on the cooler parts of the boiling tube. What is this colorless liquid? This can be answered by the following chemical equation. Hydrated copper 2 sulfate, which is blue in color, in solid state, when heated, gives us anhydrous copper 2 sulfate plus the water of crystallization. Now, the water of crystallization is the, uh, the, the colorless liquid which condenses on the cooler parts of this uh, boiling tube on cooling or if we add if we add the liquid back to the anhydrous copper 2 sulfate it goes back to hydrated copper 2 sulfate so basically what are the characteristics of this change one new substance is formed remember anhydrous copper 2 sulfate gives us hydrated copper 2 sulfate uh, we have the mass of products is not equal. So there is change of mass. Uh, since the water of crystallization, water has mass, and therefore since the water of crystallization has been lost, uh, therefore there is change in mass. And the change is reversible once again. Remember, if we add the water of crystallization back, this gives us again hydrated copper 2 sulfate. And there is net heat change. That's, this means the process is either exothermic or endothermic. Now let's go to a permanent change. For instance, heating read 2 nitrate. On heating read 2 nitrate, what we refer to as thermal decomposition, we have uh, uh, red brown fumes which are produced, and then we have an orange solid uh, which is revved and this gives us uh, the gas is nitrogen 4 oxide and from the chemical equation which we have here it will help us to understand the products which are formed so uh, read 2 nitrate solid state on heating gives us read 2 oxide which is now is the solid that is left yellow uh, and orange when cold and hot then we have nitrogen oxide, the red brown fumes and in addition to that we have oxygen one uh, one thing you need to note is that uh, since these gases are lost into the atmosphere there's no way we can uh, uh, react them back again to give us nitrogen oxide. and therefore what are the characteristics of these permanent changes number one new substance is formed 
which cannot be uh, reversed back to the product. So the process is irreversible. And there is change in mass. Remember, there are gases which are rust into the atmosphere. And therefore, since they are rust into the atmosphere, uh, they cannot be uh, reacted back to give us the product. And it is accompanied by net heat change. This means that the process is either exothermic or endothermic. Uh, what do we mean by these two terms? An exothermic reaction, a reaction in which is accompanied by the release of heat energy to the surrounding. An endothermic uh, reaction or process is accompanied by absorption of heat from the surrounding. Now, did we get the concept of this lesson? Let's try to answer the following questions. State the characteristics of physical changes, temporary chemical change, and permanent change. Question number two, state and explain the observations made when the following substances are heated, zinc oxide, hydrated copper 2 sulfate, and red 2 nitrate. Uh, you can refer to the book, which is Secondary Chemistry Students Book 1, or most importantly, you can give us a tweet uh, at Erimu TV or visit our Facebook page, which is uh, at Erimu TV as well as, as YouTube. Uh, at Elimu TV, and you can also give us a text through the numbers which we have provided to you. And please do pay attention for more lessons to come.